Hello guys, how's everyone today? Well, I know it's been a while and well, I pretty much wanted to do this earlier, but I haven't gotten the chance. So, um well anyways, this device here is a mysterious little device that's exclusive for only Harcold Soul Silver, which of course most of you should be familiar with now the Poke Walker pretty much. So anyways I'm gonna give the whole tutorial on basically how to use the Poke Walker, um, what um, advantages there are to using it, how to use it mostly to your advantage and what things you want to do and what you don't want to do and also what you should do in case you lose the Poke Walker or basically troubleshooting. So I'm gonna go through that now and yeah you just sit back enjoy and Hope this uh, helps any of you guys that don't uh, really know how to use the Pokemon Walker. Alrighty, so here we go. Oh, yeah, I forgot to add one more thing. Um, yeah, if it's your first time using the Pokemon Walker, um, there's probably going to be a white tab over here somewhere. Um, so just remove that before you... Well, yeah, remove that and the battery will start. So you won't be able to turn on your Poke Walker if you don't remove that white tab. So just look for a white tab and remove it. Now, press this button. Press and hold that button in the middle there to turn on your Poke Walker. Because I know I had trouble turning on my Poke Walker. So just hold this middle button over here. Hold it for about five seconds, I guess, or three, whatever, and it'll go onto this little screen. That'll. Well, actually, I'm not sure how this started up. I think it shows a random field or something, but um, you won't have any Pokemon in it. So, it'll, yeah, see, it's blanked out. So just Also, if it blanks out, just hold that middle button and it'll go back to the screen there. Alright, so now you probably see all of this, but you can't do anything with it because it's not connected to your game wheel. So... In order to connect with your game, just press this, um, go to this screen, press any of these buttons from this screen, left or right, and go to the connect button and connect with your DS there. So, just press that button and point it at the DS card of your game. I'll show you that in a second. So, that's if you're using this Poke Walker for the very first time and, um, connecting it with your Harkold or Soul Silver game. I probably mentioned this in a little bit, but um, you can only use one Poke Walker per DS game, so just keep that in mind. Once you register it with your Heart Gold or Soul Silver, you can't use it with any other game. Just only that game that the Poke Walker was um, connected to initially. Alright, so I'm gonna connect with the game now. I probably wasted a bunch of time here, and yeah. Alright, so hope you guys enjoy this video here. Alrighty, so for you first timers, um, I'm gonna show you how to use the, um, well, how to set up the Poke Walker and how to use it. Well, I'm gonna go through everything step by step, but um, first we'll go through setting up the Poke Walker. So, um, let me explain this first. Actually, before you even can use the Poke Walker, um, how this works is you need to have at least one Pokemon in your PC box. So, if you don't have any Pokemon in your PC box yet, you won't be able to really uh, take advantage of the Poke Walker. Since in order to use the Poke Walker, you need to um, basically walk with one of the Pokemon only from your PC. Alright, so, um, whoops, um, I didn't even explain what I just did. So anyways, um... Once you have at least one Pokemon in your PC box, just um, go down here, um, connect to Poke Walker for if it's your first time using the Poke Walker. Um, if not, um, then you know what to do. Um, so the first time you'll see this screen, it says Welcome. From here, you can select the Pokemon from your PC box and send it to the Poke Walker to take along to a stroll. Um, and it'll ask you to save the game first and then go for a stroll. So. Select a Pokemon from your PC. Like I said before, you need a Pokemon in your PC. So otherwise, this won't work. Alright, so let's take Unknown here I just caught. Uh, I'll put Unknown in the Pokemon Walker. Weird. <laughs> um, so first, you'll get Refreshing Field and Noisy Forest. Those are your um, first two Poke Walker routes. They're, what do you call it? They're the default routes. That's how you would say it. Um, so press yes when it says um, take a stroll in a place where it's okay for the Poke Walker to emit. Um, what is the top screen here? Um, 
So just read whatever says in the bottom and follow the instructions here. Point it at the DS card. Um, the DS card is basically the, uh, well, you know, the card you put into your Nintendo DS in order to play the game. That um, DS card. So point it directly on there um, and wait five seconds. This is set up, but um, so yeah, just do that. I can't um, do that with this game because I have an extra Poke Walker. Um, so just follow the instructions. Point it at your DS and set up the connection. But keep in mind that you can only set one Poke Walker to one game, which means you can't use one Poke Walker on several different games. Um, so yeah, once you connect the Poke Walker to the game of choice, you won't be able to use it on a different game. Unless you disable connection and then reconnect with a different DS. But that'll take a bit of time. Um, anyway, since I can't really use this Poke Walker, I have... Well, I have a second one, but I don't want to start it up because I want to save the battery. I'm going to do the tutorial on the Poke Walker that I currently have. So let's switch to Soul Silver. The never before seen game. Alright, so now that we have light in this room, um, I'll, well, I should be able to show you how to point the DS at the car, but that should be pretty simple. <laughs> Alright, so if it's not your first time, then just do the same thing. Um, let me just return from scroll so I can get this over with. Um, anyways, what they're explaining, point at the DS card. In case any of you don't understand what that means, um, just point it right over here. You see where the DS card is? The DS card is right, right there. That's the, the game you put inside. Just point it right directly at it. Don't miss it at all, because it'll lose connection. So just don't miss the angle. And I am transferring my stuff back here. Alright, so now we're going to take the Pokemon for a walk. This is my Soul Silver. So, um, this stuff, um, I show this stuff later. Let's see. The son of God. Alright, so, if it's your first time or not first time going for a stroll, um, they'll have something called Total Watts on the screen, which are well, basically, stuff you get from walking on the Poke Walker or real life or whatever. Your basically your Poke Walker steps um, times 20. So there's a form that you want to remember is every 20 watt, uh, 20 steps equals one watt. But I'll explain more of that later. Um, anyways, this screen shows how many watts you need to unlock um different routes so the more watts you get the um more routes you'll capably be able to unlock so anyways over here um you want to go for a stroll for the first time or whatever just select the pokemon from your pc here um i have a whole bunch of shizzle here i have a meganium so i'll take it for a walk this is my um starter meganium since i got that far in the game it's like at level 50 almost so yeah, if this is your first time, take Refreshing Field here. You'll get Refreshing Field and Noisy Forest as your first two options. Um, so yeah, do the same as I did before. Just in order to connect, you see the screen here, it actually shows you too. Just um, um, keep it no farther away than 5 feet and point it towards the DS card here. So right there. There we go. And don't miss it. It'll say, if you did it correctly, it'll say connecting to Poke Walker and your Pokemon went to the Poke Walker. And it'll save your game, so you'll know that. Alright, so just wait like a few minutes, a few seconds, whatever. And it'll say stroll today and also mention the amount of steps you took. So after that, you can have fun with the Pokemon in your Poke Walker here. And anytime you want to return, just click return from stroll. Um, you can also return, receive a gift too. Um, anytime you want to return a Pokemon, just point at the DS and connect. Do the same thing as you did every single time. Just don't keep the Poke Walker too far from the DS and um, connect it with the DS card basically. Alright, so anyways, onwards to checking out the stroll. 
Oh yeah, also, um, I didn't mention, if you just want to receive your gift, just do the same thing. Connect with the DS card. So, this is um, pretty obvious by now. Alright, so now we're going to check out the Pokewalker itself and all of its little applications.